the nickname was Who Me? And it was a extremely foul smelling substance. And the idea, this was during World War II, was to uh, have these little discreet squirtable tubes of this foul odor that you could give out to resistance groups like civilians in these occupied nations. So, you know, they could sidle up to, say, a German officer and secretly squirt this on his uniform. And it had been designed with all these specs, you know, like it had to have a, you know, it had to have a range of 10 feet. It had to be lastingly penetrative at 70 degrees for two hours. It had to be impervious to dry cleaning solvents and rainwater. I mean, they had a chemical company testing compounds to see which were the most foul smelling. And it's not that easy to come up with a universally loathed odor. Um, research that was done later in the 90s to come up with a non-lethal weapon. The folks at Monell did a lot of interviews around the world, giving people little vials to smell like vomit, burnt hair, sewage. And the winner was U.S. government standard bathroom malodor. And this was a compound that was created for testing latrine deodorizers. So that's what they started with. And then the people at the Monell Chemical Census Center were very crafty. They also added a, a pleasant smelling fruity floral top note so that with the first sniff you go oh that's kind of nice and then you take this deep whiff of this horrible thing and that would be enough for you to turn and run <clears throat> which is the goal of a, of a malodorant to clear a compound to clear a room uh, they used them in Vietnam to uh, try to clear Viet Cong tunnels make them unusable um, so they took the US government standard bathroom odor and they added the top note and the, the resulting mess <laughs> is called stench Soup. That's the name of the, uh, the compound. And I don't know how the military ever used it.